We think of birds as having excellent vision and hearing. Up until recently, it was believed that birds had poor olfactory capabilities. After all, there didn't seem to be much use for a developed sense of smell. We now know this is not the case. I talked about this in a recent video if you're interested in learning more. But this time, I wanted to look at avian olfaction from a slightly different angle. What about birds that possess huh? a particular smell? And what do they use it for? Let's take a look at four different birds who are known for their unique aromas. First on the list are hoopoes, found in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Hoopoes are unmistakable with their scimitar-like bills and spectacular crests. Ordinarily, the preen gland, located at the base of the tail, secretes an oil that birds use to keep their feathers clean and waterproof. But during the breeding season, it changes in both the female and the chicks to the foul stench of rotting meat. The purpose of this is believed to deter predators from the nest. The smell of decomposing flesh is a warning sign that harmful pathogens are present and you had better stay away. Hupo females even rub this oil on their eggs, sealing off small pits in the shell from microbes. The oil also contains bacteria, which helps to eat other bacteria that eat away at their feathers. Next is a pheasant-sized bird with a spiky crest from South America, known as the hotsin, or watsin, as I've also heard it pronounced. Their diet is quite unusual in that it consists mostly of leaves. To break down the tough plant matter, they have an unusually large crop and esophagus with a hefty amount of bacteria. It basically functions like a rumen. In fact, they were referred to as flying cows by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. With all this fermentation going on, it produces a lot of methane, giving the birds the unquestionable smell of manure. In this case, the odor doesn't serve a purpose so much as it is simply a byproduct of their diet. They are notorious for this barnyard scent and are also known as the stink bird. Number three is the nocturnal, flightless parrot of New Zealand, the kakapo. Their feathers have a scent that has been described as a musty, sweet odor, like honey mixed with lavender and dust, or an old violin case. It is thought that it helps them to find each other and communicate in the dark. They're a slow-moving and flightless bird, and they evolved without the presence of certain predators. Unfortunately, their strong scent gives them away and makes them easy to find. Both hunting and the introduction of non-native mammals like cats, stoats, and rats sent their numbers to near extinction. Today, significant conservation efforts have been made, and numbers have recovered from 51 birds in 1995 to 247 in October 2023. And lastly, this list would not be complete without mentioning the crested auklet, a small seabird off the coast of Alaska with her strong tangerine perfume. The tangerine scent plays a significant role in mate selection. Females put their beaks into the nape of the neck of a displaying male, where the scent is the strongest, in what's known as a rough sniff. The scent also helps to repel parasites. Fog is common on the rocky islands where the birds gather, so the scent may serve as a form of communication when visibility is low. There is still so much more to learn about avian scent and its function. Have you ever seen any of the birds on this list? If so, I'd love to hear what your experience was like. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.